I've, I've certainly uh, never dumped blame on anybody. The, the NTSB would be the people who are doing this investigation, and they'll decide if anybody's at fault. Um, I mean, it could. It, it, I mean, scale deposits are the people who are the manufacturers of our spaceships. Uh, they're, they're, they're the people who are operating our spaceships at the moment. Um, uh, but the NTSB at this stage have not come out and blamed anybody. What they have done is they've ruled out uh, a lot of the very British um, uh, speculation by self-proclaimed experts over the weekend um, in saying that you know the, the fuel tanks, the engine are all intact, uh, and that there was no explosion. And um, and they will come out with more, more findings in the next couple of days. I've been looking at the comments of Jeff Daly, uh, who, who, who is a, an accomplished British rocket scientist based in the United States. He sent emails last year to the American Federal Aviation Authority, copies of which went to Virgin Galactic, uh, st stating as a fact that this was a very dangerous enterprise. Yeah, look, we have 400 of the best engineers in the world uh, working for Virgin Galactic, um, and uh, and and Scaled have um, uh, hundreds of excellent engineers working for Scaled. Um, between us and I would say um, Elon Musk's team, we have the, the best rocket engineers working in the world. Um, and you know, if somebody if somebody was to send us an email saying that, that they think that we're you know, we should be going in a different direction. I'm sure our engineers would look at it. They would either dismiss it or they, or they would take, take note. Um, but, uh, you know, I find it very insulting, your, 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 the whole tone of your questions. And, um, and, and all I can say is that, you know, that it, 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 it is absolutely clear, and the NTSB have said it's absolutely clear, that there have been uh, no fault with the fuel tanks, no fault with the engine whatsoever. As you know better than anybody, the space enterprise, curiously enough, is a very open world. It's a world in which people keep sharing their experiences and their uh, technological expertise and the rest of it. You've been working in complete secrecy, which apparently is absolutely counter to the culture in which most space endeavor in the United States has been undertaken. How do you explain that? You're, you're, I, I just can't quite believe you're questioning. I know that you, I respect you enormously normally. Um, I have no respect for you at all for the way you're conducting this interview. But anyway, I'll answer your questions. Um, we, 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 um, uh, Virgin Galactic is, um, is, a, is at the cutting edge of space. Um, we're, we're not going to um, open our books to our rivals. Um, there, there is ourselves, there's SpaceX, there's um, Jeff Bezos. There's a few people trying to build spacecraft to take people into space. Um, we believe that and, and I think everybody, most people, most, you know, most sensible um, commentators believe that we are ahead of the pack as far as taking people into space. And I believe that we will succeed. Well, NASA has a 97% safety record. What would be an acceptable safety record to you to put civilians into space? Well, uh, Bert Rutan has always said that uh, space travel at this stage is, is a little bit like the early airline, airline travel uh, of the sort of 1920s, 1930s. That's, that's the kind of um, potential risk that you take. Obviously, um, the team at Virgin Galactic want to make it a lot safer than that. We would, obviously, we, we, we would want to run a, um, a spaceship company that loses nobody. Sir Richard, thank you very much indeed for talking to us. Thank you.